Florida CDL Air Brake Practice Test. Question 1. Slack adjusters are Between the pushrod and S-cam on drum brakes Between the power screw and pushrod on disc brakes Part of your air brake system used to adjust the brakes All of the above Answer All of the above Question 2. Which conditions are front wheel brakes good under? Only wet or icy conditions. Only good weather. Front wheel brakes are never ideal. All weather conditions. Answer. All weather conditions. Question 3. Which of the following does ABS do? Shortens your stopping distance. Decreases your normal braking capability. Increases your normal braking capability. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Answer. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Question 4. Which of the following is not part of the braking process when driving a tractor-trailer combination vehicle with ABS? You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. When you slow down, you should monitor your tractor and trailer and ease off the brakes to keep control. You should use only the braking necessary to stay safely in control. Brake the same regardless of what you're driving, whether you have a trailer or ABS, or neither. Answer You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Question 5. Which of the following is true about your brake function if your ABS fails? You will have no brake function and the truck will be out of control. It will slow your truck to a halt and force you to pull over. You will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. It may cause problems with other mechanical systems and there could be a huge fire risk. Answer you will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Question 6. Why must you study air brakes in the state of Florida? All trucks have air brakes in Florida. Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. Otherwise, you cannot receive a CDL at all. Otherwise, you can only receive a CDL permit. Answer Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. Question 7. At what measurement is the safety valve usually set to open? 150 pounds per square inch. 250 pounds per square inch 100 pounds per square inch 200 pounds per square inch Answer 150 pounds per square inch Question 8. Which of the following factors can cause brakes to fail or fade? Not relying on engine braking enough. Excessive use of the service brakes. Brakes being out of adjustment. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 9. 
How can you tell if your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system? ABS is still optional. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2010. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2000. Answer. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. Question 10. Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? Warning signals are optional. Only those built after 2005. Only those built after 2010. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Answer All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Question 11 Which of the following is not part of the drum brake? Slack adjuster, brake drum, safety valve. Axel. Answer. Safety valve. Question 12. Which of the following is true about a dual error brake system? One is called the primary system and one is called the secondary system. They use a single set of brake controls. One system usually operates the front axle and one operates the rear axle. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 13. Spring brakes are. Brakes that come on automatically on a truck on tractor when the side drops too low. Not going to have full effect until your side drops to a certain range, often, 20 to 30 pounds per square inch. Made up of powerful springs, that are held in back, while you are driving, by air pressure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 14. When should you use the parking brake? Only in urban areas, where there are many other vehicles. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Only if you are away from your vehicle for an extended amount of time. Every time you leave your vehicle, for any amount of time. Answer. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Question 15. How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Not applicable, there is no braking effect involved in a downgrade. As the main braking mechanism. As the main braking mechanism, with the engine braking effect as an emergency backup. Answer. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Question 16. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Radio signal system. Emergency brake system. Parking brake system. Service brake system. Answer. Radio signal system. Question 17. How would you check your truck's slack adjusters? Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Press the brake pedal while listening for any strange noises. Accelerate, then brake hard. All of the above.
Answer. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Question 18. When should you drain your air tanks? At the end of the fiscal quarter. At the end of each working day. At the end of a trip. At the end of the month. Answer. At the end of each working day. Question 19. The purpose of a Sopley pressure gauge is To tell you how much air is in the tank. To tell you how hot the air in the tank is. To warn you only if there is too little air in the tank. All of the above. Answer to tell you how much air is in the tank. Question 20. Which of the following is the reason that air tanks must be drained? Your left side brake will cease to operate. Your transmission fluid may drain out. Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. You will drive too quickly if they are not. Answer. Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Question 21. The maximum leakage rates per minute are 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 10 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles. 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles. 6 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. 1 pound per square inch for single vehicles. 3 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Answer 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles. 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Question 22. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? Pump the brakes until the air pressure drops below 30 pounds per square inch. Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Manually let the air out of your brakes and see if the signals comes on. Pump the brakes while your vehicle is fully on. Answer Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Question 23. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low size specification have been met for spring brakes to deploy. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on single vehicles. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on tractor trailers vehicles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 24. Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Put on the parking brakes. Chalk the wheels. Remove the keys. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. The tractor protection valve is closed by the parking brakes. Will close itself automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Provide your air supply for brake system. 
All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.